right, everything is strapped around this. Oh, it has been a day. It has been a day. Today has been a day. Not a terrible day, mind you, but it's been a day. I need to up my, update my bio on Twitch, I realize. Eh. Someday. Someday I'll do it. One of these days I'll do it. Sorry, I'm repeating the same thing five times because I kind of wait for people to fly, flood in before I start playing Ring of Hito. And I guess that time for... Approachment has ended. Because I kind of want to get through my workout and move on to the rest of my night. Kind of just vibe for the evening. You know what vibing? I like the vibe. I like the vibe. Mellow. phone calls when it's your fault I miss the late nights don't miss you at all I miss the dick in the head and things you do to me I love the way that it hurts don't miss you I miss the misery posture straight. Let's get warmed up. Alternate bringing your knees up to touch the ring con. This stretch targets the area between the thighs and glutes. Last time. Yes. Well, just hurt. like that. Next is the heel lift stretch. Oh, heel stretch. Okay. Bring the insides of your ankles up toward the ring con. Breathe out as you raise your ankle. Ooh, my hips Last are ready time. to pop. All right, good. Next is the back straightening stretch. Take a big step forward and drop your hips. Breathe in as you extend your leg. Breathe out as you pull it back. You should be able to feel your back muscles stretching. Let's do one more of each. Yes, looking great. Finally, spread your feet. Raise the ring con above your head and lean to the side. Face forward without letting your head drop. Try not to bounce during this stretch. Let's do one more of each. <sighs> Great job. There we go. quiz done next? I don't know. Probably which way to the next restroom. <laughs> well, at least he's thinking of the quiz now instead of later. Also, I have already found it. It's been... Yeah. You know it's been a while since you last streamed when... You don't remember what your normal stream layout is. Of 
first thing I do. Answer, all. Oh, we're just gonna go down. We're going down, down, another round. I missed some stuff. Okay, the calibration is way off today. That doesn't fill me with hope. Check the enemy's color, then select the skill. Warrior two hope. Right, I have to remember. Do it on the pad so I don't slip and fall. Well, it's two of them. Don't forget to switch legs. There we go. Okay. Nice work. Well, that was fun. Handled. Start off the routine with yoga. Always feels nice. There we go. Well, 
Well, see, you show me a cobalt manta ray, and that puts forth the temptation to do the new and improved mountain climbers. But I still need to edge into that. So let's do this. Because it's been some time since I've done leg scissors. No Russian. You should feel it in your stomach, not your arms. I'm surprised the uh, matter ray isn't healing. I think it's time to suffer. Not done yet. Right, make big, wide Man. motions. Resilient. There it goes. Goddamn even. Second ring fence session in a week. Yeah. Need to not do that again. Huh? Well, if his name is anything to go by, Ring, it's gonna be a bait and switch. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna go bottom to the top, but because I feel like it's the bottom. But I mean, I'm gonna have to do all these stages anyway. I don't know what the dragon flag is. We're probably gonna find out together. 
because I probably got this wrong. to see okay hold on you know what the hell with the fact you're gonna see my feet on occasion I need traction I need traction on my toes so I'm gonna go for the big climb Okay, yeah, so let me see. He's pretty lateral. Or his legs aren't that, he's not that far stretched out. So maybe I've been overdoing it. Something like this. Move super energetic. To you, I've been doing. I've been doing more of that. Give me a second. Ooh. Not better to get 17 out. Let's. Mountain climbers, baby. You should feel it in your stomach, not your arms. They're not both gonna heal. Oh, I thought they were both gonna heal him. Chubbs would heal himself. Alright. Well, return to center then, eh? So, noted, trying to do two sets, trying to do two sets of leg scissors in quick succession, bad idea. Oh, I'm tired of you. Uh, 
Sure, why not? Overhead, arm spin. Hi, Shade. Rotate the wings on the round. Turn. 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 In the middle of reps. Turn. Can't. Can't big sip. There. Your friends are gone. Only you remain. Playing a max difficulty, so yes. Keep going. Select a skill. This much, huh? That's how much you'll do. You'll wait. You'll waste channel points in this. Thank you for using your channel points. I drank like half of this before I started, so my belly's a gurgling. But I feel like I'm gonna need it for right now because the dreaded ring raise. Let's raise up the ring. Raise it. Ugh. While I go through this set, how are you, Shade? How is your morning? I think it's morning. Just well, they are mine too, but not because of the difficulty of breathing, but because of the balance. Speaking of breathing. Always try your best. Like, except for like crescent lunge here, and like one or two other yoga techniques, I 
hate doing yoga because it requires my balance. Like tree pose. You know, this one, there goes my balance already. I can't hold it for as long as it wants. Plus it also wants me to lean while standing like that. No, no. My balance is poopy. At least as of last year. Well, they have you hold it okay. in several levels to disguise yourself. But even then, I need Very to nice. I need to cheat and use the chair because, like I said, Wonderful. my balance is terrible. Well done. Fantastic. Yeah, so they have tree pose in there. Yes. Fine work. Amazing. Like they have tree pose in the rotation okay. that you can learn at some point. But I think it also that one also requires you to lean Good at the same job. time. While right. while treat up. Great. Nice. So Perfect. I have to put my Fantastic. post leg or my uh bent leg on a chair to hold my balance. So I am at least done. partially doing the pose, Fantastic. but without the fear of falling. did this through the holiday weekend. I was doing this. I did some physical stuff all my holiday weekend with nothing anywhere near as tense as this. Oh. It's done. Would you believe me if I'm if I told you I'm not near the last level of the game yet? Oh. Add that to my list of regrets. Add that to my list of regrets. Add that to the list of yogurt. Anyway, we have to do all the stages. Why? Because they thought, oh, is nothing gonna appear here if I go here now? So did I wanna get them wrong? Did I wanna get these wrong to get the full benefit of this routine? Nope, there's dudes to fight. Shade, this was full right before the start of the stream. It is now down to its last third. I am hydratoed. I am now hydrogenated tomatoes. Uh, it's a uh, 44 ounce glass. Some tells me it's almost a liter. I 
I don't know. Overhead arm spin. With the, with the number of people I talk with from out of the United States, I am realizing more and more that that the United States measure, system of measurement is kind of whack. Especially because of, you know, measuring distance. Because, you know... What do we got? Okay. It is one meter long. Can you give me that in centimeters? Ten. Can you give me that in millimeters? A hundred. In kilometers, like 0 0.01 kilometers. Turn. Got it. There. All right. Turn. 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 This is a mile. Turn. Can I get that? Can I? Can Turn. I get that in feet? Turn. 5,298. Turn. Can I get that in inches? Too big. Turn. Turn. At least I'm pretty sure it's like 5,298 feet to the mile. It's one of those dumb things you you. Oh, so I messed it up even then. It's all 1,000 millimeters, my bad. But one of those random things you learn in school that you shouldn't, that you really shouldn't have had to learn, but you did learn. Yeah, it's one of those, it's one of the five things that have stuck with me. Okay, so the froggos are going to attack me. There's no questioning that. And then the big gray one is going to spit on me. Oh, I was going to use one of those. I was going to use a lot of those, actually. But you... I hate them. Alright. I have a workaround. Considering I made it at some point. What's a dingus? Another way to say idiot. Huh. I have not made a red power skill smoothie. Well, there's only one thing left to do. Counteract the, the defense down, or the power down. Why did I spick, why did I do red? I meant to do blue or yellow. Scooter, are you smart? No! Oh. All right, well. Well, let's give him the old level three razzle dazzle. I mean, Russian twist. I thought you were asking what Dingus was. Twist. The, glor the glorious, infamous Dingus Khan. Uh, so, I have worry that my attack stat may reach quadruple dig digits by the time we finish the whole game. Ha! Huh. Ha! <laughs> Drop your hips. Victory! So, 
let's talk about various things. Let's, uh, let's, uh, let's chew the fat, as they, as they would say. So I haven't talked to you guys for over a week at this point. Uh, a lot of stuff happened in the last week. Mainly, exactly one week ago. You know, the, the, the Soup Maros, the Soup Maros happened. Mario turned 35. That realization when you were only two years younger than Mario. Oh boy. Hit him with that Wario. Oh boy. So, Come on, let's run. as is B for most Nintendo drones, as myself, I have already pre ordered the 3D collection. Yes, I am that kind of person. Okay, let's select the skill. I mean, let's not even sugarcoat it. People who like Mario. We'll buy nearly every Mario. Nearly, I say. I haven't bought the, uh, well, I haven't purchased, well, excuse me. I have not purchased new Super Mario Brothers Switch. Wii Switch U. But I got to thinking, hey, if I'm really gonna try and bench my Wii U for good, I should see about getting used copies of Tropical Freeze and New Super Mario Bros. Deluxe. So I might do that within the next like week or so. But uh, I'm gonna finish this up before I finish my conversation. wasn't enough. Well, let's see. It's been, let's, it's been one week since you looked at me. Tossed your head to the sides and I'm angry. No, it's been, uh, let's see. I haven't beat normal 64 since launch-ish. I haven't beat Sunshine since launch. And the last time I even played or beat Galaxy 1 was when I recorded for YouTube. So, four or five years ago. Um, I'm gonna wait until it's closer to holiday season before I pick before I pick up 3D World because 3D World is arguably one of the best Mario games. Stuck on Bouldergeist? Oh boy, be a bad time to tell you that there is a uh, that there's a Daredevil coming for Bouldergeist. You probably know by watching myself or other people who cover the game, but still. So, yeah, Bouldergeist. Shane, aren't you all, aren't you still a child? Did you do your homework yet? <laughs> Sorry, Shade, the bit will never die. At least I'm pretty sure that I'm pretty sure that was you. My memory falters. I probably do. 
But let me do the thing. Let's see, so Shade, come on. You don't need to waste points on this. You know, my appreciation is amigo for making sure I'm hydrated. You can do whatever you want. Like eat, like eat ice cream for breakfast. The entire pint. Excuse me, court. that two weeks ago. I think you were here for that story where I had a rough day at work and I said, you know what? Oh boy, just hit it. I had a rough day at work and I said, you know what? I want ice cream, but I'm going to buy a huge thing of it, but I'm also going to save it. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm going to buy it, but I'm going to save at least half of it. Or when I go to, oh, whoops, well, I'm not getting that one. Well, I don't think I told the story on a Saturday. I think I told it on Monday or something. Um, Shit. yeah. Keep at it. I bought a, uh, I bought a quart of ice cream, which is about four pints of ice cream, effectively. Oh, fair point. Or fair enough. Good. Yeah, I bought... A quart of ice cream, and I said, you know what? I'm just gonna eat this for dinner, and hopefully, I won't go full glutton and eat the whole thing. And I'll leave about half of it for another night, a week down the road. I ate the entire pint in one night, and I think I still had some chips afterwards. It was a bad day, man. <laughs> well, when I say chips, I mean pretzels. You mean knee lifts, right? They're good for training your core while standing. Play in the penalty box? Oh. Oh, yellow is not your color. Yellow is not your color. Right, I had this discussion with a friend the other day. Uh, chips as in crisps. And by that I actually mean pretzels. I had pretzels. After having effectively three, pe three, three people's worth of ice cream.
Oh, for you. Actually, speaking of though, I go go if I remember to. I'm not gonna lie, having some of my uh, mom's salsa, homemade salsa with some with some crisps, does sound pretty good. Or I guess tortilla chips rather, does sound pretty good for an after workout thing. But I it's a salad night and I need to have salad. But I want salsa. But I need to have salad. Otherwise, it'll go bad by tomorrow night. <laughs> Like scissors. Like scissors. Across your legs. Does he have two health bars? Oh god, I think he has two health bars. Defense power, you say? I still forgot to crush up some smoothies. Well, I mean, what's the worst that can happen, right? Look at this double buff. Um, so anyway, uh, we were, I'll continue this conversation in a minute, but we were talking tomorrow before I got on topic of crisps, chips, and homemade salsa. So, the thing is, Nintendo announced that they had Mario's themed Splatfest tees coming up, yeah? I tried to order both, but I missed it by like minutes, I think. At least in my size, and then they had a restock, but they didn't restock my size. 
So I missed out on those shirts completely. So, uh, IRL shirts. But yeah, I missed out on buying twice. More or less. Because double X is a... I don't want to generalize my own people. Of Nintendo nerds. But. Double X is a common size amongst, you know. Nintendo nerds who. Aren't exactly. Fit. We'll say. To put it nicely. So, double X, the size that fits me, and I even and even then I buy double X for the height, for the length, not for the not for the width. Was sold out. Okay. Both times, immediately. Luckily, I was able to tell a friend, Yoshiller, that they had him in stock, and he got himself at least one. In his size. So, even though I didn't get one, I at least helped somebody get a shirt. Help get a, get somebody a shirt. Very nice. Wonderful. So, fast forward a little bit. It's earlier this week. Okay. It's earlier this week, and Nintendo says, "Hey." We're actually going to start putting physical rewards back in the My Nintendo uh, catalog, or back in the Club Nintendo slash My Nintendo catalog. And this time around features a Xenoblade uh, phone stand, Xenoblade stickers, and postcard set for Splatoon. I tried to get the phone, the phone ring, phone stand thing. It was sold out. Within two hours of it going live. And I had to play... And I had to play, uh... A little bit of phone tag, or I guess I instant messenger tag... With a Nintendo rep to get my points back. But I bring all that up... Because two times in a row... Now... When I've attempted to buy something from Nintendo... When I get to the part where it's like, hey, here's my, uh, here's my credit card information so you can send me something, it's gone, uh uh. It's gone, no, 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 no. And no, 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 Guys, it's me. Oh, dude. Oh wow! I punched the dummy out of him. But so on that day, well, I'm going to show you like the bootlegs, the bootleg cover kind of thing. But on that day, I said, you know what? I'm going to start migrating my, my leftover Wii U titles that are available on Switch as well 
or to my Switch. So, I got a used copy of Hyrule Warriors. You can tell it's used because it's the... It's the blank GameStop packaging with nothing else in it. So I own I Hire Warriors on Switch now. Which I will say, I kind of lucked out on. I kind of lucked out on that one because I was thinking that, and then my favorite video game deal web uh, Twitter handle, cheap ass gamer, was like, "Hey, pre-owned Switch games available for available with a uh, 20% off with by using this code." Okay, I'll pick up Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition for 35 bucks. Bet. I should have done that for. I should have done that for Tropical Freeze and New Super Mario Bros. Deluxe while I was at it. But hey, that happened. And then two days later, guess what? Oh, I need the green con. Whoops. Two days later, guess what happens? Age of Calamity. Shout out to all the toddlers out there that can throw temper tantrums. Holy crap. Drop your hips. <clears throat> like that is literally what I was doing there, except in more rapid succession, is literally the exact same leg motions a kid go does when they want something and they get to decide to throw a temper tantrum to get it. Say, how scandalous! Oh, that's a small world. Huh? 
Thank you for shouting it. From the hilltops, if you would. Let me guess, this wing flap falls right there? Curious. It is. Well, I would, but here's a problem. There's a couple problems here. One, I am very, very lacking in smoothies. Oh my god, I can make so much. Oh my god. Mmm, cabbage and soy milk. Squeeze. Actually, I don't think I- have I told it? I have told the story on stream, but I'm gonna repeat myself. I had almond milk recently. Shit's delicious. Now it's dangerous, because I'm out here thinking, hmm, what other milk should I try? Don't say goat milk. Looks tasty. I feel like that's a step too far. You know what? I'm all We're doing ready. it. We're making all of the caramel black tea. Squeeze. Looks like chocolate pudding. Looks like something else more grotesque if you put your mind to it, really. And now you're thinking about it. You're welcome. Arugula mesh. Let's squeeze. Listen, we interrupt your regularly scheduled workout session to bring you arugula mesh. Squeeze. Raised in the middle of a very shitty meme, arugula mesh was born because one streamer decided, "Hey, you remember that arugula mesh meme from ages ago? Yeah, let's do that." Some weird ass shit happens to Arugula Mesh. It's up to him to end his life so he doesn't have to live out this terrible meme ever again. That got dark fast. Like, really fast. Like it said, left turn? Nah, 180 fam. Ooh, double money. This also doubles money. How would I just make what I got? I get double. Double. Are uh, you uh. ready? Squeeze! Way to squeeze! And then... But what about, oh, I can't make this one anymore. Okay, good, I made the little better one. Oh, also takes coffee beans, not black tea. Well, you know what that means. It's time to make even more money buffs that I barely use. Let's squeeze. Oh my God, that's a lot of black tea. Squeeze. Why is it orange? I realize tea, but it's orange! Gross! See, I know my color wheels. When you take black and you increase the pigment and you increase the hue slash light, uh, saturation of it, it doesn't, black doesn't go to orange. Black goes to gray and then white, not orange to white. Yes, I'm gonna fight the inaccuracy of, of a video game. Okay.
It was orange. I'm all ready. Squeeze. Okay, I see what you mean. Yeah, if it was dark brown, then yeah. It would change to an orange and then the white over time. Listen, just because I don't art doesn't mean I don't know my color wheels. Ooh. Yes, queen. Are you ready? This one actually sounds pretty good. Squeeze. Ginger. Ginger, cinnamon, and some lemongrass, whatever the heck lemongrass is. This actually sounds pretty good. Way to squeeze. Ooh. Uh, maybe not that. Ooh, banana. Oh. Oh, banana. Okay, we're just gonna make two of these. These are like emergency ration kind of things. I'm all ready. Also, Please. I came to a realization the other day while I was trying to log into my Wii U account, my Wii U eShop account, that uh, my Wii U eShop, I can't log into my eShop account on my Wii U anymore for whatever reason. But, I'm also thinking that some point soon here, some point soon, probably the next year, I'm probably going to finally do a playthrough of, uh, do three of these, Pl finally do a playthrough of Donkey Kong 64. But, here lies the problem that I have to find a way to purchase it for my Wii U, because I don't think I want, I have the original cartridge, but I don't know if I want to run the original Squeeze. cartridge. At least not without buying a, a, a one of those hoary like GameCube uh, design N64 controllers. Okay, so I did a whole bunch of that. You like corn? <laughs> you know, we're just gonna go all in on this corn. We're literally making corn soup. I'm all Hey, you take some corn, you take some chicken stock, put a little salt, a little pepper in there, perfect. Squeeze. It's a meal fit for kings. Actually, that kind of is a meal fit for kings, as bad as it sounds now. Have I stumbled upon the very basis of what is a corn soup? Okay, let's just make a couple more of these. Make a couple more of these because I'm probably gonna get some materials for double up on all this, all these materials in a second here. So I don't want to go too ham on it. But I have been meaning to make uh, protein shakes and or make shakes in this game for about three weeks of gameplay, and I keep forgetting to. Melon! No, no melon. In... No, no. No, no. Okay. Okay. I make some of these now. Oh. Are you ready? Okay. So I do want to say, in my own, in my own time when I'm editing videos, I usually hang out with Please. some friends. That have not so much perverse, but have awoken me to the hilarity that is, Luigi is not so much a <laughs> scaredy cat, but that he is just actually a, not even a closet, he is just a unanimously enormous weeb. And no Mario, I'm telling you to tell you that, that I really love this part of Sword Art Online. 
Did you know that Kirito was on one HP throughout an entire boss fight? I literally got to tell you, Mario. It was the best part of the show. Okay, I will go hang up now, Luigi. But you didn't let me talk about the... <laughs> Hello? Hey Mario, you didn't let me. Goodbye! <laughs> okay. Maybe next time. I love this this stupid beast plot that the internet is making for Luigi. Or Luigi. By the way, this is not my bit. This bit, I think, originated with Scott Falco. And it's kind of trickled down through his friends, and now it's trickled down to me from one of his friends. So I'm like third hand telling this joke. And I'm probably ruining the joke at the same time. I need to change worlds. Because now it's side quest time. Sonic the Hedgehog had an OVA. Sonic the Hedgehog runs really fast and he has a good girl in the OVA and... Luigi, I think we need to talk about your habits. It's getting a little worrying. Trying to glide down gracefully like a swan. I'm gonna make it. You did it. So anyway, that as I was saying before, I went to my sprint. Drop your hips. All credit for the dumb joke goes to Scott Falco and not to me. Victory! I need more water. But if I leave the room to go get more water, my controller get disconnected. And then it'll be all out of whack. <sighs> Shade, all right. Shade is deemed necessary that I go get water. Yellow mixed smoothie, which is down here. I have I think this is what I need to do, just this. Good thing I didn't make everything. I think that was it. Yep, I did it. 
There we go. All right. All right, it's gonna disconnect now. I hope you're happy. It's gonna freak out and say, please put on your Joy-Con. Please do this thing. So I have water, but I figured I'd show you this as well really quick. This is homemade salsa. Only thing not homemade in this mixture is the herbs, or I guess the spices. But it's made using fresh chopped onions, fresh, fresh chopped tomatoes, peppers, the whole mix. Oh no, don't worry, I did something worse. I drank almond milk. So, the other thing, by the way, um, the thing is actually with salsa, like if, like, cause you know me, like at this point in my life, though I'm not as fit as, I'm not as fit as I was last Christmas. Like I put, like I'm, I'm up 10 pounds from where I was last Christmas, which is impressive considering I've only put on 10 pounds over six months and I've changed my diet mostly back to what it was before, before I went on my diet. Um, in terms of like point for point or counting calorie stuff, cause I do that a lot now, just subconsciously, salsa is actually fairly healthy for you. Ca uh, strictly calorie speaking. It's the chips that go with your salsa that make it bad. <laughs> like if you go to a store and buy salsa, you know, t you go to salt, you go to a store, you buy a thing of salsa, you turn around. Oh, 15 calories per serving with five servings in a jar. You know, a jar about about two jo about two Joy Cons tall. That's not bad. It's the chips that go with it that kill you. <laughs> and fair enough, I understand not everybody likes salsa. It could be. I mean, forgive me for outing you a bit shade but I mean it could also be an Australian thing where like 
most salsa in Australia is made differently, so it's not made, it doesn't taste quite the same as it would here in America. I don't know. I can only, I can only judge and kind of guess. Oh, okay. Oh, you're, okay. I'm gonna sound like a dick when I say this, but I don't mean to be. So you're a bit of a picky, a bit of a picky eater. I've got a friend like that, don't worry. I got a friend like that who eats, except for the rare oddity, his diet consists of, I'm trying to think, his diet consists of pork, some cuts of meat, not even ground beef anymore, just some cuts of meat, cheese, potato, and the occasional oddity, like calamari. I know, some people, when you say you're a picky eater, they, some people say you're a picky eater because they won't eat one thing. It's just, they, they kind of go like, how dare you, sir? And like I said, oh, like my friend in question that I mentioned, I will not name names. Because I don't know if they want, I don't know if they would like their personality, uh, I don't know if they want their namesake or their personality leaked online, but he knows he's a picky eater, so he just comes out and says when he doesn't like something. Also, how am I doing, by the way? 228 calories? Already? So I've got like 15 minutes to go. Weird. Anyway, but yeah, he's, he knows he's a bit of a picky eater. So he just, he'll just go ahead and, uh, got it. He'll just go ahead and, uh, admit, just say flat out. If we're going to go somewhere, he'll flat out say, oh, well, I'm not going to eat anything. Let's try somewhere else, please. Like, I, I maybe it's his... Like maybe it's the same same thing like the salsa, but like if we do anything Mexican, he'll ask us he'll ask if we'll go anywhere else, because for the most part he can't yet he, he can't really stomach eating anything on the menu. For the most part. He, there's an oddity where he'll be like, okay, I can have this. I think it's mostly Mexican food with him though. Because we've taken him to like, you know, ramen houses and whatnot, and he's been fine eating stuff there. about the friends who are more picky we have a friend who is technically more picky but because they cannot eat the stuff otherwise they have they basically need a uh, assistance the next day or are just out of commission the next day but even then they're not as picky as the one friend
Um, like, just for example's sake. Like, yeah, the best way I can describe it is an example. Like, do you know how hard it is to plan a a when the rare time we can plan a Mexican food night with somebody with a gluten allergy? It has to be corn tortillas. It has to be a very specific spice, because a lot of taco spices use wheat in their mix instead of, you know, actual ingredients to fluff up what's in there, so to say. I think she's also partially lactose intolerant, partially. Then again, so is my sister, so. But in that regard, we, the one friend, they do kind of bring their own food about because they know they're difficult to plan meals about. And then there's the and then there's some of us in the group that are really weird or just have like random oddities of things they don't like. Uh hold on a second. Had to make sure that is turned off. I kicked my headphones. Like we have two friends who are just like no sour cream, no mushrooms. Well, when you live in uh, the lovely state of Wisconsin, a lot of foods that are in the state, a basis for a lot of it is either sour cream, because dairy, or mushrooms, because fungi are very, are like a main food source for people who live in the north. Well done. Or I guess extreme opposite climates. Speaking of climates, and also for the opportunity to be insensitive, hey Shade, how's it going over there? Is it warming up over there yet? Oh, I got it. Is it warming up over there yet? Is the country on fire yet? There's the insensitive comment, by the way. Um, uh, oh, excuse me. It's starting to cool down pretty fast around here. Like, the last three days it's been, I'm gonna try Celsius here and I'm gonna botch it, by the way. Here it's been like 11, 12 degrees Celsius every day. And raining, considering this, considering on Saturday it was 20 and sunny. Well, it's supposed to get back up to like 17, 18. It's supposed to like bounce between like 16 and 18 for the next week and a half and then drop and then finally start cooling off for fall weather. Did I sell these properly? Probably not. You 
know what? I've already done a I've already done a hundred multi climber reps. I'm gonna just focus on the pectorals today, for now at least. Even though I've done a lot of this already. You know, it only took like 20 minutes. Yeah, it only took about 20 minutes of working out, and I feel like I'm mostly back into my routine for Ring Fit. Which is awesome. I figured, you know, five days not playing this game, I was gonna be like, oh, I need to reduce difficulty back down. I'm kicking my own ass. I mean, yeah, the first 10 or 15 minutes of this stream, of this workout was like that. But now I'm kind of back in my, I'm back in my, I'm back in my groove. Thankfully, someone did not throw off my groove. And I don't have to have, order somebody to throw them off the top of the mountain. Shout out to new groove. A movie that is so niche that Disney will never be able to make a live action remake of it. Which, speaking of that, holy cow. I was actually hopeful that Mulan, the Mulan remake was going to do well. Oh no. Just based on what reviews I've read, oh no. They've taken this. They've taken this amazing story about, you know, sh about showing how women can do just as good, if not better, than men, even in the face of those who can't constantly tell them no. They've taken this lovely story about personal growth and everything, and they shall over it. Then they have the audacity to say, 30 bucks please on top of your on top of your Disney Plus membership. Like you think I'm joking. You pay $15 a month for Disney Plus, and then they have the gall to say, okay, can we get another can we get another 30 bucks fam so you can watch it? Come on! Come on! What's left? Excellent! Disney acting kind of sus. Okay, let's to which I say, bro, is it meant that? I was in medbay getting a scan. Okay, let's go. Be careful not to drop. I am asynchronous with my thighs. Excellent. There we go. Amazing. Well, that's the other thing I can show off really quick here. Maybe if I'm feeling up to it. I've watched the people who play, play Among Us, and I've been seeing the memes pop up here and there. So I know of Among Us. I just haven't played it myself yet. The hor I know the horrors of doing anything that takes up a majority of your screen. Like my stat screen here, something takes up the majority of the screen and just, and just all of a sudden a, cut, a, a three, a two, a one second cutscene of your guy getting skewered through the back of the head, and then you're done playing. I mean, from what I've, I mean, from what I've played, from what I've seen, what I've played, if electrical is down, you get a beacon of light. That shows basically, like, an inch around your character. And to do electrical, you have to connect wires. It very much has the feeling of a janky uh, 2002 Flash game, from what I can tell, in that it will mess up constantly. Oh. oh, that's bad. I missed a thing. So literally an imposter can just chill in the vents. They chill in the vent on their electrical. And then when it, they decide it's time, just whoop, whoop, crawl back in the vent.
because I feel like it's a moment where you realize a moment too late while you're fiddling with the electrical, and all of a sudden you, you go, hey, did I hear a vent? Oh. Hoplins are experience. I don't think I have an experience drink. Down, down, and another round. Uh, I don't think I have the double experience drink. I have double money, but not double experience. Okay. This is fine. Oh, I have to defeat them. Right. Okay, hold on. This requires... This is an extreme thirst. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. So before I do this, I want to flaunt for just a minute. So, a couple days ago, A couple days ago, my first, a couple days ago, my first limited run games order came in. I ordered two games off of, off of uh, limited run games because I was like, you know what? These are gonna be special games that I'm gonna order. So I want to have them in a in a very special case. So I bought the limited run of, of uh, Streets of Rage 4. This is the Switch. This is the Switch version of the game, by the way. But it is a uh, too, <laughs> uh, way too big uh, Genesis case. But it is a Genesis case nonetheless. And I will say that um, I will say that there that I have another limited order coming in of. Shantae and the Seven Sirens. But after that, I don't have anything. But tomorrow apparently is Shantae Day. Unlimited run games. I'm depending if I want to buy basically every other Shantae game in a physical format or not. Because they are having. They're having a reproduction, but well, well, actually, they're making, they're having a pre-order starting tomorrow of the original Shantae, the Game Boy Color game, on the site. And I'm debating on getting the biggest box I can of that, so maybe get a physical version of the Game Boy game, and also... A physical version of this of a switch version of the Game Boy game if possible. If that is something I can do. Drop your hips. And I'm debating myself, hey, while I'm there, how about I pick up physical versions of Risky's Revenge and Pirate's Curse and Half Genie Hero. Actually. Uh, I could probably just buy a used copy of Half Genie Hero and save myself the trouble there, couldn't I? <laughs> Which, should I show you guys something? <laughs> yeah, why not? Ooh, skill point drink. Nah, a little bit more. So, it probably won't be a surprise, but Scooter is working on, get it, hold on a second. Oh no, my totally, Professional just set up. I've been I've lied to you I would like to let you know that yes, I have worked on a half genie hero series 
Also, I have found what is the furthest out you can schedule a video, by the way. <laughs> you cannot schedule a video on YouTube for more than two years, uh, for more than two years uh, from the month. So I can't upload anything in September of 2022. Or I can't upload anything in October of 2022. But yeah, Half Genie Hero, it's a thing. It's a thing that I'm that I've worked on. I just need to actually get it out there the rest of the way. All right. So what do you think? Some basic bitch squats. I'm thinking some basic bitch squats. Just so I can see what's going on down here too. Let's do some basic bitch squats. I would like to equip it over this ring raise combo. Oh, it goes. Oh, it go oh, go oh, oh. Oh, no. Yeah, so... What is it? Um, I think I'm trying to picture it from what it was ago. So I think this was the lower right corner for a while. Or no, this was the lower right corner for a while. No, um, when you, when you fill in, when you get to a certain level or you fill in X amount of skills on the tree, it expands. So like, you know, when we first started playing, it was like, oh, hey, these 20 squares right here, that's the skill tree. Okay, that's cool. Oh, hey, these, I'm just guesstimating, these 35 uh, squares here, that's the skill tree. Okay, cool, that's nice. Hey, these 65, 70 squares here, that's the skill tree. Could you stop, please? Da -da these 100 squares, fill them. Okay. Actually, if we do some, if we do some grade school multiplication, three, six, nine by three, six, nine. it's 81 right now. 80, because we don't count the center. <laughs> so like it was 60, and then it became 80, but it started off at like 30. Uh, once or twice. But then it was just like, wait, why do I have to, why do I have to use these when I have shakes? Why do I have to use this when I have Master Shake on my side? Uh, I've done the hip raise. The hip raise is excruciating, by the way, and I can't show you it on the ground because my camera isn't that, that low, but from a vertical standpoint, I'm going to try and imitate as best I can. So, so imagine I'm on the ground. So. You know, you have your knee prop, your leg propped up so it's like this, pointed upward, with your feet flat on the ground, so like that, and then you have to, while your knee is pointed out, you have to raise your hip so your knees and your and your uh, collarbone are a level plane. Hold it for ten seconds, and then go back down. And that's the hip and that's the hip raise. I've done it, it works. It's really cool. But shakes. Um, you may have done it. Oh, I don't have that don't I have the Abmaster set? I think I've had the Abmaster set this whole time and I've just forgot to put it on. Oh yeah, looking sexy. Oh, yeah. I've had this this whole time. 
Um, yeah, they have you do the hip raise set. They have you do hip raises as part of the, the one of those uh, like uh, focus sets, like ab set, glute set, balance set, uh, chest set. Uh, if you're playing story mode, is it looks like a shield on the map with with the robot's face. Because I know the hip raise is in one of those. I think they put a... They put a, like, yoga skill or healing skill in one of those, uh... In one of those sets constantly. But they color it as though it were... They color, they color it as though it's, like, the focus and not the healing. Oh man, mountain climbers! You get mount in the in the story mode progression. You get mountain climbers naturally, well after they have you do it. Like even if you're going doing everything. Uh, defeat using only arm skills. Defeat using only arm skills. Hold on. All right, let me just. Okay. Okay, so I'm a mechanica. What? We're playing arms, right? <laughs> I actually should pick up arms randomly one day here and see what happens because I haven't played arms in forever. But when I did play it, I actually did start off you maining Mechanica, and I think I still try to use Mechanica. I don't know why. It's just like I found a character is like you. I main you now. That's how it is when I play a lot of times when I play a uh, when I play a fighting okay, game. It's like this character you. Your main? Nah, my main. But I tend to pick, like, either the way too quirky character for my skill level, or I pick the character that's so basic that they're basically the Ryu of the game. Like I said, I picked Mechanica, but I don't think I've played uh, since... I don't think I've played the game since, Ma since Max Brass was added. You know, the first DLC character. Uh, free LC, rather. But to give an example of it, so... Ceiling knows this too. And I'm gonna mess up her name, but like, if I were to play Undernight Inbirth, I would want to play Yuzahira. Yuzahiru? Yuzahira, yeah, that. Yuzahara? Lady with big samurai blade, wearing tank top and way too low of a pants. Or way too low cut pants. Okay. Amazing. I, I'm only, I, everybody just calls her Yuzu, because Yuzuhira is kind of a mouthful to remember. Well done. Or, let's see. Uh, well, there's, here's another one. Falcon. I remember playing, you know, your Mewtwo's, your Shadow Mewtwo's, Lucario, the occasional Pikachu and Blaziken, Machamp, and when Pokemon Pokemon Tournament DX came out, Krogunk. I haven't tried any. I haven't bought or tried any of the DLC characters. Again, either the super basic character or they want. Or the one that is super complex. Like, I labbed a bit of Crow Gunk, but it requires so much on the time adjustment of your combos that it is not funny. Like, for maximum output, let's see. So, like, Crow Gunk's like 
big linchpin thing is, I think, a form of acupressure, effectively, for the opponent and for yourself. And you're co and you have to basically change to one of four combos based on what happens to either your opponent or to yourself. Did you get strength? Did you get uh, attack down your opponent? Do this combo. Oops! Oh, oops! You did it wrong because that was actually defense down. Hey, did you get did you get uh, attack up? You should do this combo. And it all stems from starting with like one or two moves, and then you have to combo off of that. So I picked the stupidly technical character to try and master. All because I went haha poison frog throw a punch. Poison Frog, Frog Funny, he not want fight, but he actually do fight. But hey. I still got some lab time with Krogunk, so I can play Krogunk barely. But all of my practice in Pokémon is in Machamp with a pocket Pikachu. So, I guess my main is Machamp and my pockets are Pikachu and Krogunk. Okay, let's select the skill. Cause I won't lie, Pikachu is <laughs> for being balanced on the game's roster. Pikachu is uh, is faster than you would give it credit for, considering it's balanced. Okay, let's move. I'm going to take a lot of damage here, by the way. Coming up in the next round. Because I didn't set multiple arms things. much about Gengar. Uh, Chandelure is very much the stay on that side of the arena character. The zoner, if it were. Chandelure says, go over there on that side of the arena and don't talk to me. Don't talk to my face. Like, if I remember right, Chandelure's only get off me option is um this doesn't look good for us. what is it you can't use any skills chandler's only i forget is it is it over yeah chandler's only get off me option is overheat so you're punished for trying to get go back to how you were playing a, mo a second ago when the enemy when your opponent said i'm coming in Which is why I like to play Machamp. Because I have an option that is literally, I'm coming in! Be sure to stay uh, not so much in 2D mode, but in 3D mode. Uh, Machamp's back in X is uh, Aerial Somersault. Are both skills ready? No. It's an, uh, Machamp's back in X is an Aerial Somersault that has an over... Uh, has it has overhead properties to it, but it homes in on the enemy. It also has rocks. I'm throw rocks. Can you guess which one? Which what skill I'm gonna pick? It's gonna be the one where I throw the rock. Okay, let's. Uh, outside of that, two uh, D mode or in two D mode. The champ doesn't have a lot of get in options. He has a heavy press, oddly enough. But that's like an anti air move, more or less. So he doesn't have a lot of ways to get in. Yeah, maybe cross chop. Because if you do sauce up and then cross chop, you do. Uh, if you sauce up and cross chop with the champ, it gives him super armor. 
boss up, bulk up, same thing. Almost eight. I'm debating. Because this, I'm not tired yet, but this is probably the last thing I should do tonight, considering I, yeah, I'm, I'm going to be well within my uh, goal for the evening. And I don't feel like I've sweat that much, oddly enough. Um, but anyway. I'm kind of fighting with myself if I want to stream longer tonight and go on to something else or not, but I think I'm going to end up deciding against it in the long run. Because, to be honest, if I didn't have to go to work tomorrow, I would do it. But my option right now, my option would be to play Streets of Rage 4. Okay, I could play a stage of Streets of Rage 4 tonight, and then I'd have to end off the stream anyway. After I clean up. So I think I'll keep it a semi-short, well, I say semi-short, it's already been two hours, actually, holy cow. I've been putzing about tonight with this, haven't I? But yeah, uh, somewhat shorter stream, arms hurt. A somewhat shorter stream tonight, just doing my workout. But anyway, back to fighting game stuff. Um, what is it? Uh, before Pokémon became a thing, there was that uh, type wild game that I, that I actually talked up for quite a while. Back when uh, I was doing a lot more, a lot more things in the Pokémon community. You know, back when that game was out, you know, I played Gardevoir, who was basically teleport, 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 slap, teleport, slap, slap, teleport. Basically, the never here but always hitting character. And then they added Swalla in a patch, and I okay. ended up switching to playing Swalla, which is literally the grappler. Okay. It has two special moves. Toxic and Ring Out. Other than that, it doesn't have much. <laughs> Swalla was such a was such a random addition, but just making it the grappler was probably amazing. The amazing part to me. So I guess, I guess that's kind of a thing, because now I'm on this kind of tirade of topic right now of, you know, playing a fighting game, what character would I pick? If I know a fighting game, I'll probably say it better, but I guess it's kind of a weigh-in opinion from chat. Like, what's a fighting game you know of that's not Street Fighter? Because I'll tell you right now, I play Ken in Street Fighter, I'm boring. But like... What's a fighting game that's out there for me to like pick a character from? And there's a lot to pick from. Okay. All right. Nice. Come on. Five more. Okay. Keep it up. Three. Like if I'm right now I'm thinking of the Fatal Fury series. Very nice. Yeah. Flawless. Fatal Fury, like right now I'm just thinking the uh, what was it? Mature is her name? I think it would actually play mature in that game. Don't know how she plays or her play style, but probably would play her just based on choice. That or for whatever reason they replaced the big oath character of Sun Chong or something like that. You can't use any skills. The big fat dude with an iron ball. They said, hey, what if we replace this character? What if we made this character a lolly? Oh by the way, still has the one ton ankle weight ball and chain and she still swings it around like the big version does feel here is weird man, man. Amazing. 
Let's see. Uh, I know I played a little bit of Skullgirls, but I haven't played... I haven't played the stuff with Second Encore. But I know if I played Skullgirls, I would probably play as Big Band. And day one in the lab would be mastering his parry system just so I could hit people with the uh-huh, smooth, uh-huh, uh-huh, smooth. Which, you've, which if you've never seen people play uh, Skullgirls, primarily Big Band, there is a clip out there of someone playing uh, Big Band in a tournament. Okay. And for those of you who haven't played Wonderful. Skullgirls, it's a traditional 2D uh, fighting game. But the catch of it is, is you can choose how you with how many characters you play with and the game will adjust. It will adjust uh, the health bars of each character you have based on how many characters you fight with. You can do a 1v3 and it's an even fight, with the team of three having assists and everything. I should say, uh, Marvel vs. Capcom, assist system, so it's, it's still 1v1 fighting, but you can call in assi an assist. But, but yeah, I remember it was a solo big band versus a, a duo of some kind. And the big band caught the big band player caught out the assist or hit the assist, so it caught him in what is called a happy birthday, which is basically uh, a dam being able to damage the background character. He caught the back the background character in a combo, and he finished it off with his ultra with his uh with his level three or level five super, which lets you play a song on his trumpet. So he labbed out. He labbed out being able to play "Happy Birthday" during the time or time he's given to do it. Overhead press. And he played "Happy Birthday" during the super, and then the super finished going off. And it was probably one of the best moments in fighting games. <laughs> okay, let's go. Better than Evil Let's Moment Twenty. Like evil Moment Twenty Seven, where right. where we got where, where it's a. No health can carrying and then cross countering a Chun Li at half health for the win in grand finals. Amazing! Well done! Wonderful! Like I'm ass at fighting games, but I love playing fighting games. I love the culture on fighting games for the most part. Some parts of the community are toxic, we'll say. But fighting games are just so great because it's one of those games that, like, no matter what skill you're at, you can generally find somebody to play with that is at your skill level. And if they're and if you're not, you can get taught how to get to that skill level, or you can get to that skill level in some form or fashion, either by the person who beat you uh, teaching you or by going into the lab, as I said, and learning, you know, learning on your own time how to do combos. Sharp. Or, if you don't want to do that, just sit around and play the fighting game. Or sit around and play the fighting game at your skill level you're comfortable with. No one's going to force you to go pro. And you can have as much fun as you do or don't want. Like, of course, everybody is all gaga over, oh, fighting games! Oh, I don't want to play a fighting game unless it's at EVO competitive level. Oh. But, you know, fighting games are just kind of an awesome thing where, no matter what your skill level, you can just play it. Have fun. My arms are getting tired, by the way. And I'm rambling. Fighting games are just great. But unfortunately, Capcom has forgotten the has has left to the wayside the quirky fighting game and in, ter in favor of super serial fighting game, which is why we will never get a good Marvel vs. Capcom game ever again. The last good Marvel vs. Capcom game is Marvel vs. Capcom 3 Ultimate, 
and no one can tell me otherwise. Yes, Infinite has some cool cool mechanics to it, but it will not match the hype that is Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Or even Marvel vs. Capcom 2. I will die on that hill. Because, yeah, you know, you got Marvel or Infinite, you got, you know, Monster Hunter and Chris Redfield versus Gamora and Hulk. But give me a fighting game where I can have Firebrand, uh, Firebrand, Amaterasu, and Phoenix Wright take on Iron Fist, uh, Phoenix, or, yeah, Phoenix and Albert Wesker. Give me a fighting game. Tell me another fighting game recently that has had that charm to it. Or that level of ki odd, ki odd, odd character selection to it. Keep it up. Like, if your fighting game has weird characters, you have... <clears throat> I mean, if your character, if your fighting game has weird character selection, that tells me more. That tells me you love your game more than somebody who's just like, grr, serious man, grr, serious, serious other man, grr, serious lady, grr, Russian man, who, Russian man, grr, bodybuilder, grr, uh, British SAS lady. Just, give me a fighting game where it's like, yeah, here's a dog that's a god. Here's a defense attorney. Here, here's a here's a sheep who summons dogs as puppets. Here's an Amiiboy Blob Monster, whose gimmick is being able to stretch up super tall boy, or drop down super low. Fighting games with weird characters always seem to have more love put into it than super serious fighting games. That's just me, that's one man's opinion though. That is literally one man's opinion amongst the sea of millions. This doesn't look good. Oh, really? You can't use any skills. Okay. You should feel it in your stomach, not your arms. tirade about fighting games then not you know what let's continue that thought so you know what fighting game we need a third installment of just because it's dumb but we won't get it because capcom has the full rights to it we need another power stone title power stone the the very good attempt to mesh street fighter and smash brothers type of gameplay Where there's not a lot of percentages, you still you have life bars, but there are supers that you fight each other to get via what is the effective broken broken pieces of a smash ball. Oh, by the way, you can pick up and throw pieces of the stage round, swing pieces of the stage round too, if you want. Just Power Stone is a great game. And it's another one of those game, fighting games that came out when Capcom was being weird with fighting games. Capcom just stopped being weird with fighting games for no reason.
I'm rambling a lot. Of, I'm rambling a lot about things that people probably don't care about. But hey, that's what happens on this stream. I ramble. Unless I'm talking, I'm answering a question that somebody has or something. I ramble. And probably a little too much for my own good at times. Yo, speaking of nice. speaking of fighting games, by the way, okay. I'm pumped. I'm pumped that I think I can finally say I have a a team of three for Dragon Ball Fighters now. Cause I've been running Nappa Krillin in that game with with like random characters thrown in as my third, with no real want to learn those characters. Master Roshi drops next week in Fighters. I'll be A, running Team Ball, B, running Team Old School Power. Overhead press. Roshi looks technical as hell, but man does he still look fun. Just old man, probably over 150 years old, one of the most nimble fighters in the game. I think what makes it funny for me too is you literally have Master Roshi who is who is like the the depiction of peak power in OG Dragon Ball has been thrown into the ring against Jiren and Ultra Instinct Goku, you know, the peak of power at the end of canon Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Super at this point. And Roshi said, What? What's that? Right here, the bitch! I still have two more rounds of this. Oh, Balzac. This doesn't look good for us. You can't We're gonna be here skills. a while. I could just have access to access to my you can't use any skills. Russian twists. But unfortunately, I don't get access to my Russian twists. Keep squeezing. All I get access to is Abgar. Try and speed this up a little bit. Finally. Also, give myself a little more defense. chest muscles are going to be sore come tomorrow. Okay. Not so much my deltoids, my chest muscles. Because this is the most I've done of the front press, period, since I've gotten this game in, a, in one session. Also, the fact that the session is still going. I may have made some mistakes. Again, I'm not sweating as much, which is nice, but also I know it's a bit of a problem. 
because that means the cold air is kind of canceling out how I hotbox myself most of the time. In order to get more done while I play these games. Or I guess play through my sets. Con I would to figure out what I'm at. I'm gonna do it. If this, if because of this stupid challenge I go over an hour of play session today, A, it'll be fine because I have missed like at least two days worth of worth of play, or at least two days worth of workout. But B, this will be the longest ring fit session I've had. Period. I think my longest session right now is just shy of 53 minutes. In game time, not actually playing time. You should feel it in your stomach, not your arms. Lucky break! Don't push it. Take a break if you need to. Oh. oh, I was <laughs> last okay. As disgusting as last time I belched, I tasted something that, t that felt that seemed off. I was like, "Oh God, is something okay. happening to me? Am I dying?" Amazing. And then I belched, and I went, "Oh right, I drink almond milk. Fantastic. It's a it's almonds I'm tasting." Keep it up. Good job. I'm smart. I'm tired. Hydrate. You know how you stare at a light too long and you get a dot in the center of your vision? My light for what you're seeing right now is just to the left of the TV monitor, or the left of the TV I'm using to play off of. So... I have a dot, like, from your perspective, I have a dot right here in my vision. Much shoulder and arm work. Something, something makes Scooter go insane. Arm work, huh? Do I do? I'm on set four, I'm on group of enemies four or five. I think the last one is just a single enemy. But still, I can only use my two arm skills. And I'm tired of doing overhead presses and front presses right now. <coughs> oh. oh. Oh, I feel better. Yes, I know that was disgusting, but trust me, I feel better. And there's that taste of almond again. I'm 
not sure if I'm gonna be able to KO this ochre hop, uh, hop goblin or hoplin, whatever this thing is called. I at least got the color name right, ochre. Actually got it. I do not believe this. With your legs bent slightly, squeeze. This doesn't look good for us. No skills. You can't use any skills. No skills, so I can't pay any bills. Yeah, same fam. This doesn't look good for us. You can't use any skills. All right. Well, this is officially going to be my longest ring fit session. Kudos go to Noah. Just like the skill. For kudos are a delicious chocolate candy bar that you cannot have if you're trying to lose weight. Yes, that was actually the entire point of what I was trying to. That was actually the entire point of all this is I was trying to make a funny joke. It didn't stick. I'm well aware. Well, I will say okay. nice. that my upper body is going to be sore as all hell tomorrow. But hey, maybe I can actually start chiseling my upper body for once. Instead of focusing on my abs and legs. If only my arms, now if only my shoulders didn't want to give out. If only my want to stay awake didn't kick in. I am very tired. <laughs> uh, I'm very tired. I'm getting to that point where I'm, ram where I'm rambling worse than I normally do. Okay, back at it. Fine work. Excellent. Yes. Yes. Good job. Wonderful. Me. Come on. Go down, you. Into the briny deep with ye. Why did I why did I say briny deep with ye and I'm randomly reminded of Weevil stuff? I don't know if he still makes stuff, but old Newgrounds creator. Tran one of the first like one of the first I think one of the first animators to like try and transfer his way over to YouTube as well. I remember the song Narwhals. Randomly. Well done. Amazing. No walls. They are no walls. No walls. Just a little bit you boys. No walls. They are no walls. No walls. In banners of the shish kebab. Final round. One. Two. I'll deal with two. You and me. We'll go mono and mono. Okay, let's move. Focus on your chest muscles and press in. Fantastic. Great! Amazing. 
You, me, back alley. I have a knife. KO either of these with this set. Very nice. Excellent. Sharp. All right. <sighs> so while I finish up. Actually no, what I'm gonna what I'm gonna say, I think I'll, I'll save until I go into my uh, end of stream rundown. So we're gonna put a pin in that thought. Great. I've been saying that a lot lately, by the way. Put a pin in that. Just because it's so apt and it can be used for so many things, and more, and even in today's, uh, and even in today's day and age where everything's gone digital, and people still recognize and understand the concept of putting a pin in that meaning, hold on to that thought, or remember this for later. Because for physical goods, oddly enough, a lot of people you still use push pins, myself included. I'm gonna kill one with this. Very nice. Not the other one, though. Fine work. No walls, they are no walls. No walls, just don't let them touch your balls. Increase your pace. All right. What if I had the audacity? What if I just had the gall to record a not mean version of the narwhal song? And put up a cover. Good job. Okay. Just novels, novels, swimming in the ocean, causing okay. a commotion, cause they are so awesome. Novels, novels. You're pretty big and pretty white, they beat a polar bear in a fight. Like an underwater unicorn, they have a kick ass facial horn. They're the Jedi of the sea, they stop Cthulhu from eating ye. No walls, they are no walls, no walls, just don't let them touch your balls. No walls, they are no walls, no walls, in Venice of Shish Kebab. If I wasn't doing this, I could make it, I could put a lot more vibrato on that. Enough, enough, we're done. 57 minutes. Almost an hour of this damn game. Uh, too far into the next level. I realize I have a level up drink, but I don't want to use my level up drink when I'm that far into a level. I want to use it when like I barely crest the level. Okay, can I get the option to cool down? Yes, finish for today. Holy cow. Whew. All right. Holy cow, almost 400 calories to burn. I think that's like all the pretzels I ate before I streamed today, or my lunch, plus my breakfast. Anyway. So, Let's begin does anybody have any questions they wanted to ask me before the end of tonight's stream? Be mindful of your body and stretch um, the range of your ability. Something I will say is your feet, I have some and hold your left wrist potential plans for this Saturday. On your wrist, tilt to the right but and it will not side. be away from my computer. So I may still stream on Saturday. I may stream my workout in the Return morning to your original position, before my plans go through. And bend the other way. Instead. And make it a short stream of just working out. Don't hold your breath. Um, but we'll have to cross that bridge when we get there. So, Saturday stream is Bring up in the air this slowly. week. 
depending upon what others Breathe may want to do. And pull down on your left elbow. Stretch your upper arms while pulling your elbow downward. And I can't talk too much about this because now do the they are the opposite side. super waylaid plans. Be careful like plans that should have happened a month ago, but because of, of everybody's schedule getting flipped on their head over the month of August, we may have to, we, we might be trying to do it now in Read September. Back slowly. Put your right foot forward and cross your legs. Bend your body forward and stretch the back of your left leg. Hold it like that for a little longer. Straighten up and switch legs. But if I am able to stream on Saturday, stretch we may do a little bit of a grab bag up. stream. I may just actually, actually no. It'll either be a grab Think bag stream as you or I'll, I'll focus on buck fables. Slowly straighten up, bit by bit, starting from your lower back. Put your right leg forward and put your hands on your hips. Bend your right knee My pants and stretch are out down. your left calf. My right knee hurts. Oh, I know all about fiber. Now switch legs. I'm about to go demolish a salad after I if clean up. Flexible, it's okay if your heel goes off the ground. back slowly rotate your hands behind your back and grasp your left wrist while pulling your wrist to the right lower your neck the same way bring your neck back up and stretch in the opposite direction as well focus on stretching all the way from your neck to each shoulder back slowly all right stretching is complete good job so i didn't see any questions so as per usual once we get done with our uh, post workout tips okay so as is with the normal thing when when our thing Post stream, I get you guys over somewhere to raid. And I think if you guys don't have a preference tonight on where we go for a raid, I think I'll actually just let uh, auto host take care of it because I have auto host to do random. Time in the world. Is it Sorry, apparently I had somebody on. So. For anybody that would like to make the choice, your options tonight are, now that I don't have to yell, your options this evening are Tom Fox playing Among Us, uh, Alternate 24 is playing Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 plus 2, Nakatalili is playing Dragon Quest Builders 2, Making Nid making Middenhall, I've uh, raided Naka before while making Middenhall, so if you want more of a chill experience, That'd be the way. That'd be where we would go. Uh, Botanic Sage seems like he's he's kind of in a uh, chill mood based on what I'm reading here. So it looks like he's playing Pirate Warriors Four. Might be switching over to Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles. And Odin Spack is streaming Fire Emblem Three Houses. I'll be honest. I am probably going to let things go. I'm kind of like auto host take over for who it goes to after I'm done. But if you guys have a preference amongst these five, you know Tom Fox with Among Us, Alternate Twenty Four with Tony Hawk, Naka Nakatoli with Dragon Quest Builders Two, Botanic Sage with either Pirate Warriors Four or Dragon or, or Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles, or Odin with Fire Emblem Three Houses. Uh, yeah, if you guys don't want to pick anything from that, auto host will take over.
All right. So I'm not hearing any suggestions or recommendations. As I said, I think I'll, I will just let Autohost take over. Thanks everyone who came out tonight. And again, a reminder that the next, excuse me, reminder that the next stream, the next stream on Saturday is an up in the air one. If I don't see you on Saturday, I will definitely see you on Monday for something not exercise. Hopefully, my brain will work with me. Anyway, thanks everybody for coming out. You have a great evening or day, depending on where you are in the world. And I shall see you around. Later, folks. I should probably wave to you over here, shouldn't I? Bye.